when it is said love yourself then surely there are two then surely there are two one who is receiving the instruction and another one who is going to be loved this has to be understood when i say love yourself then the tuness in the instruction has to be appreciated who is the one i am advising to be more loving and who is the one i am asking to be loved they are not one they are two when it is said love go and love then it is being said surely to someone who does not always love it is being told to someone who is not a natural lover and therefore he needs to be advised to love now who is not a natural lover the ego the ego is not a natural lover the ego by its very constitution remains in fear and the one who remains in fear cannot naturally or easily love are you getting it so when it is said love surely someone is being advised or instructed to love obviously you cannot advise the true self to love because the true self is in no need of any instructions or advice nor is the true self deficient of love who is being advised to love the ego so when we say love thyself the love part stands clear now the ego is being told to love and who is this thyself who is this thyself this thyself god forbid is not the ego itself the ego is not being told to love itself this thyself is the real you this thyself is the only one who is worthy of love and therefore is being asked to be loved who is this thyself the real self the true self so when it is said love yourself it is analogous to love the true self love god love atman who is being told to love the ego and who is going to be loved the true self hmm? that you can call as the heart or god or atma love thyself does not mean love all your stupidities the ego is not being advised to love itself because the ego cannot love itself why because the all the ego is already in great attachment with itself have you seen how self attached ego is that is called narcissism the ego is always greatly in self love obviously subject to the constraints of the definition of the of love that ego knows the ego knows only little petty stinking kind of love and with that littleness pettiness and stink the ego does love itself the ego is already loving itself nobody is therefore in his right mind going to advise the ego to further love itself but the statement has been greatly misinterpreted and in the name of self love people are only furthering their ego self love actually means do not love yourself love the truth self love does not mean love the little self love the petty self self love means love 
love the best part of yourself self love means love the best part of yourself self love means that even if you are covered with all nonsense know that there is something venerable something admirable within you and love that do not love your rubbish your nonsense your trivia do not love your filth love that which is precious about you now instead of respecting and loving that which is precious inside one oneself self love is often misconstrued as remaining more and more attached with one's own rubbish don't do that self love does not mean ego loves ego self love does not mean ego is to love the ego self love really means ego must love only truth i hope it is clear hmm unless the ego leans towards the truth it will not even know what love really means what the ego has for itself is some rotten variety of attraction and attachment the ego has to be a student of love and the education of ego starts when it somehow leans towards the truth and then for the first time love strikes the ego otherwise the ego is very loveless if you ever find a loving ego rest assured that it has become fond of the truth otherwise how would it have learned love truth teaches love to the ego therefore the truth is the best teacher and therefore if there is a truthful teacher he would teach love truth and love therefore go together hmm now you see why all the wise ones have said this truth and love go together because if there is truth for you then you will definitely fall in love with it it is impossible to perceive truth in whatever way possible and not fall in love with it truth has such a unique and wordless beauty about itself that you cannot avoid falling in love with it in india they have said satyam shivam sundaram the truth is so beautiful you will have to fall in love with it that is the meaning of love thyself or self love love the truth it deserves your love only the truth deserves your love 